Good morning world. In recent weeks, I posted a video about uh, people emo working or dealing with people who are emotionally unavailable. And based on a couple questions I received, I wanted to do this one video on tips for dealing with a relationship where a partner may be emotionally unavailable. Of course, the ideal situation, which is going to be number one is to not be involved not get involved with a person that you believe is emotionally not ready to be in a relationship and if you've started going that route it may be best for you to step out step away from that relationship but i know that there are times that your relationship may be in a stage or in a place where leaving is not an option and that is what brings us to number two which is to encourage the person to get help dealing with the issues that they are battling what is keeping them from being emotionally unavailable to be in this relationship right now help encourage them to get help to deal with that and you can even be a source of help you can even be a shoulder a support to them but they have to be the one that goes out and get the one that goes out and gets the help and does whatever is needed in order to help them overcome whatever the issue is third is to give the person time to work on their issue if you are in the relationship and you have chosen or your current circumstances make it that you your ideal situation is to stay in that relationship you're going to need to give the person time for them to deal with the issues that they're dealing with uh, the things that hold us back the things that become issues in our lives don't just you know vanish they are things that we need to take time of knowledge and deal with and give them time to go you know to be taken to be yeah, give them time to go away. So it's not one of those situations where you're going to bring it up to the person and suddenly they're going to be like, oh yeah, I never noticed. Hey, fixed. It doesn't work that way. You have to give the person time. Four, take time to work on your issues and employ self-care techniques because an emotional, uh, a relationship with someone who is emotionally unavailable is very, very draining because in a way you are tasked with taking the role of your role and your partner's role in the relationship a lot of the emotional support a lot of the things that you would get from your partner you now have to provide for yourself while providing that same support that same emotional connection to them even though they may not even be ready to receive it so being an in a relationship where a partner is emotionally unavailable can be very tasking. So you have to really take time to take care of yourself. If you need to be seeing a therapist, you should definitely be seeing a therapist. If you need to be working out twice a week, five times a week, whatever you have to do, make sure you're doing all these self-care self things that keep you physically and emotionally strong enough to be in this relationship. And finally, don't make their issue your responsibility. Yes, it's important if you are going to be in a relationship with someone that you are a good support system for them, that you are that person that they can lean on, that person that can help them, that person that has their back. But you cannot make yourself responsible for the things that they have to deal with, the things that you cannot make yourself responsible for their issues. You can support them, encourage them to get help, but they have to be the one that gets help. Your job is to be the support, not the main action or the main active ingredient, whatever it is. Okay, so a quick recap. One, leave or don't get involved in the relationship because that's probably the best setup for you. But if that is not an option, Two is to encourage the person to work on their issues and or get to help, encourage them to get help to resolve the issue. Three, give them time to work on the issue. Four, take time to work on your own issues and definitely, definitely make sure you're employing all the self-care tips that you know, all the self-care tips that are available to you. And finally, don't make the person's issues your responsibility. It's their job. It's their job. They are the one that has to deal with the issues and take care of whatever needs to be taken care of. You are just a support. And yep, that is all we have for today. Good morning, world. Have a great day.